Well, hi there. It's Barbara from Embracing Your 60s and Beyond. How are you? Are you doing okay? I hope you're healthy and happy and hanging in there. Okay. I haven't talked to you in a couple weeks. I know you miss me. I certainly miss you. Actually, let me put my glasses on so I can see you all. Oh, much better. I'm going stretch. I think I'll go stretchers today. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's been a couple weeks. These are a little crooked. I always wonder, when I put glasses on, they're always a little crooked. I wonder if it's my face. You know, not everybody's face is perfect. Well, anyway, I just so you know, I realize these aren't sitting exactly correct. It might be my face. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, that's not why I'm talking to you. This is what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about golf today. Some of you don't play. I th still think you'll find this interesting, so you've got to check it out. All right, so I play. I don't really like the game. I love the girls I play with. They're all wonderful women. And you know, it's a social thing. So you gotta like just do it. I live in a golf community. I play a lot of tennis. And then a couple days a week, I go out, I swing the club, people laugh, we have a good time. Except I really don't like the game. It's very frustrating, it makes me very angry. I try and keep it inside. Many times I just want to take the clubs, leave them in the cart, and walk away and say, I don't want you anymore. Let somebody else figure it out. I don't do that. Obviously, I would, that would be my last game of golf. Who would play with me? Anyway, so there are some rules of etiquette, and I always follow them. I'm a good girl. And one of the things is that only one person hits the ball at a time. The other people wait their turn. So when the one person's hitting, you stand and wait to hit your ball, especially on a tee box, okay? Like that's when you use your driver and whew, off you go. So that's the first thing. I always follow that rule. Number two, never look at the person who's swinging, ever. My husband told me this, don't do it, not good. Because if they're swinging and it's a bad swing, it's in your brain, you'll start doing it. And then it'll take like a thousand balls at the driving range to get rid of that swing. So never look at the person swing. So I always look ahead. Oh, great shot. Oh, beautiful. And if it's not a good shot, don't worry. It's on the gravel. You've got a line. Don't worry. I see it. Or if it's really bad, sorry, it's in the water. But don't worry. You can drop it right next to the water. Yeah, two club lengths. Don't worry. Yeah, see, that's good etiquette. So, you know, I do. I play. I get through it. I know I'm blessed. We've already talked about this in previous episodes. So, so what's my point of all this? My point is I have an affirmation. Nobody talks about this. I am the first one to ever talk about this. I know it and I'm so excited I can't stand it. So here it goes. While you're waiting to tee off, you're standing there and the person, don't look at the swing, is standing there and you see their backside. Okay, I had played badly the hole before I think I hit it in the water. I don't know. I picked up my ball. I'm standing there mesmerized, looking at the swing, although I'm not looking, saying, if I could get out of here right now, if someone would pick me up, take me out, I'd be gone because I was playing bad. And then I see it, the backside of a woman golfer. Unbelievable. No one talks about it. No one mentions a thing. I finally see the backside of a woman. When we golf, first of all, it's a terrible manly stance. You know, your tush is out a little, your legs are apart. You know, you're like this, you're trying to get ready to swing. It's not good. So now I've just drawn your attention to this. So now the next time you go play, you look at the backside of a woman. Tell me if you like what you see. Okay, listen, you 20 to 50 year olds. I have, I have a lot of fans that are young. Of course, they all love me. Who wouldn't? For those of you that are in that age range, this is what you have to look forward to, okay? If you have a hot body in your 60s, God bless you. But many of us do not. I'm not talking about anybody in particular. This is not to offend. This is the look. You wear a skirt or a little golf skirt, and then you bend over, or you know, you got the tush out, and you see two legs coming down. And if you have cankles, it's even worse. Straight down. Then you got the foot, you got the shoe. But the leg, you see everything from, you know, a thin person with the hanging skin that's all wrinkled. You see like little red varicose veins. You see the big humongo varicose veins. Then you see the cellulite or the legs rubbing together all the way to the top. It doesn't matter whether you're thin, middle, 
or a heavier person. It's all the same. It's not good. I just want to draw that to your attention. Nobody tells you that. You tell me one person who said, hey, did you, did you see Barbara yesterday? Man, her other, her backside, whew, it's rough. I know. Now I am so self-conscious that when I go to hit the ball, I'm thinking about who's looking at my backside going, whoa. Oh, that poor girl. You're going to be looking because people swing all over the golf course. It's not just off the tee box. I don't know what to do. I think that the pro shop should actually carry capes. And I'm not kidding. You have a little cape. It's a little Peter Pan collar. It ties like here. And there's a cape that goes down the back. It covers up the whole backside. It would take care of everything. And then we wouldn't have this issue. Well, here I am to tell you about it. I just thought you should know. The backside of a woman playing golf, not good. It gets a big zero from me, but I don't know how to avoid it. Anyway, let me know your thoughts the next time you play golf, if you do, or you watch golf on TV, or just go someplace and look and tell me your thoughts. What do we do about this? All right, that's my story for today. So have a good day, stay safe, stay healthy, and enjoy yourself.